Hi everyone, it's Katie here from at Learn Big Thanks More. And, oh, gotta be honest, I am so tired. I'm having a cup of tea. We have just got back uh, last night from a week's worth of skiing in Chesil in Norway, which was amazing. We took the children, uh, really good fun, really good for them. We were with lots of other family members, which was really lovely and friends. Um, but before we left, something very exciting appeared on the doorstep. Um, and I'm gonna take you through it now. It's a parcel from Hey Little Magpie. Here we go. All right, so um, very excited. Here we go. I've opened it up already because I wanted to take out um, <laughs> the invoice. Uh, oh, can you see my friend? Oh no, maybe not. You might see some paws coming into view. Um, our cat has just leapt onto the box. Oh, which is fine, she can go through it. She's crumpet if she does come into view a bit further. Okay, so, oh, full of goodies. I did go a little bit crazy. This whole collection is the Simple Stories Let's Get Crafty collection. Um, I didn't get everything, even though it looks like I've got an awful lot, I have, but I didn't get the um, 12 by 12 big paper pack. Um, but I did get the six by eight paper pad. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will take everything out in turn and then I will open up some of these a bit later. We'll see if we can uh, make something else with it. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, I love it. It's got all the, can you see that? I really want, I really want to start playing with it now. I'll put it to one side, okay. So it's the six by eight paper pad. I also got some washi tape. So it looks like there's uh, five rolls of washi tape there. I got some enamel dots and there are 60 here. I got uh, a selection of decorative brads. Really love the look of um, some of these, especially the Instax camera. That looks really cool. Um, I got a bits and pieces. Can't wait to open that. You can see the paintbrush falling down. Um, for a second there, I got a bit worried and thought I'd ordered two bits and pieces, but no, phew. This is the journal bits. That's uh, what we can write on. Um, not to say you can't write on the other bit. I got a sticker book. I am going a bit nuts for stickers at the moment. I love them. I use them in my planner. I have a happy planner. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting those out this week. Um, I got some uh, four by six stamps. So this is the Let's Get Crafty. So 21 stamps here. It looks a really cool little watercolor set or little paint set. Very cute. Oh, nice. I love washi. I really do. <laughs> uh, I also got some page pieces. I think this comes with 19 pieces. So I will open that up in a minute as well. Um, I got some chipboard stickers. These look cool. What's on here? They call me crafty. They call me crafty. <laughs> uh, happy place. It is my happy place. My studio is my happy place. I'm not actually in my studio at the moment. Right now I'm on the uh, dining room table. The studio is a bit messy. I will take you around there at some point and show you. Um, I believe this is uh, cardstock stickers, this sheet. And then inside, let's open this one up and see. It's a selection of 12 by 12 papers. Let's have a look. Um, and the reason I like to order through Hey Little Magpie, I'm based in the UK. And whilst there are lots of other crafty companies that I could order from, they're so fast and their customer service is brilliant. Um, I had a damaged Happy Planner uh, once the, the rings were damaged and they sent it back. They sent a new, um, a new ring back and some freebies within 24 hours. It was amazing. So I'm, I really like um, purchasing through them. It's nice and easy. Okay, so there's the stickers. Love those, colour me happy, very cool. 
I wish my desk was as tidy as that. It's very much not. Um, what else have we got here? So I guess these papers are probably just larger versions of these ones. So I'll show you both sides of them. Uh, this one says, make pretty stuff. And then on the reverse, it's got a floral design. That one, I'll put that that way. Um, this one, part of the alphabet, and it says, uh, excuse my mess. <laughs> you have to excuse my mess. I will definitely take you around the studio. So that's that one. Uh, this one is so adorable. I haven't really done much sewing recently, uh, but I do have a sewing machine. Uh, this one is called Crafty Girl. I like that. Oh, look, that's really cool. You can't use up creativity. Mm. Um, oh, it looks like there's a couple of those. That's cool. Ooh, I love the back of that. It's like an account book. Very cool. What's that called? No, just Crafty Girl. It looks like there's another one of that. Same on the back, yeah, the same on the back. This one says, let's make something. That's my gingham pattern on the back. And this one looks like my cutting mat, although mine is green, this is pink. This one is Be Creative. Oh, that's very pretty. Uh, call Me Crafty. <laughs> Can't wait to start using some of these. This are, uh, this one's journal elements. That's very cool, the color palette. I craft because I document my life. Not really, I'm not much of a documenter. I love color, I do love color. I like to stick things to paper, yes. I like to try new things, I do. I just gotta create stuff, mostly. I'm capturing memories, not so much. I'm more scattergun. Um, I love cute things, I do. I can't not, well, I don't think any of us can, can not at the moment. Um, did I tell you what that was called? Journal Elements, that one. This one is another Elements. I feel like we've had this one already, but maybe not. Uh, oh no, I don't think we have. This three by four element sheet. Uh, this one is a four by four element. Oh, these are very sweet, these little ones. Two by twos. I'm just here for the snacks and crafts. Mm. Nice. And then this one, four by six elements. Mm, bingo, nice. And on the back, dotty back. Cool, so that is everything. Okay, pop that down there. Ooh. It's gonna little kitty. Move, move. Will she move? Hello. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Pop the box to one side. She does love a box. Okay, I'm going to start by opening these page pieces. These let's get crafty page pieces. Let's see what is in here. Ooh. I don't normally buy big packs of things like this, but I just couldn't resist with these ones. Ooh, that one's stuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. I feel like I should be doing this on some plain paper or something. So these have all come out of the Let's Get Crafty page piece set. So we've got a crafty embellishment. They're white on the back. All of them are plain on the back. I believe. We have a little acrylic paint, very cute. Let's get, let's get what? Let's get crafty, maybe. Um, flowers, embroidery, happy crafting. Oh, I like that. Um, we've got an Instax camera, paintbrush, Buttons, more love hearts. I don't know if I can pick them up. I hope the cat doesn't want to eat them. Uh, 
another button, another button, tape roll, pencil pot, scissors, Album. Very cool. Oh, I love those. Let me show you those. Uh, these ones are the journal bits. I'm going to open these as well, show you. Oh, now what did that come out of? I'm assuming. I don't know if it came out of this one. So another button. Typewriter. I would love to get my hands on a typewriter like this. If anyone wants to get rid of one, drop me a message. Uh, here we go. Create and dream. DIY. I like that. It's crafty time. I totally rad. Like this a lot. Fire. Um, looks like a library card. I'm gonna run through this super fast now. Um, clipboard. Got these more buttons. Very cute. Crafty things. Can you still see this? I'm hoping you can. Um, threader. More buttons. Something else that's underneath page, love hearts, favourite things, oh there's loads in here, when in doubt sad washi, love that, more crafty bits, tags, oh I love these, yes please, love love love, well under cute, very cool, or oh, a pull out pocket, and my work colleague has just made this amazing junk journal, and she had lots of these uh, sewn in or stuck in. And they look really cool. And she stitched them. There we go, last little bit. And one more to go, one more pile. Ta-da! Done. On to uh, the bits and pieces. Um, I'm not going to talk any more about the brads, so I'm just going to put those to one side. I'm not going to talk any more about the chipboard stickers, so I'm going to put those to one side. Um, I don't think I'll do a flick through of the paper pads because I think they are pretty much going to be like the larger bits of paper that I showed you earlier, 12 by 12, just in a smaller version. Um, so I'm going to put those to one side as well. I will do a quick flick through of the sticker book and also the bits and pieces. So it says there are 54 pieces with me in this one. A lot. Let's see. This is like crafty bingo. <laughs> we should be saying, you know, which of these do you have in your craft space? I'm so lucky to have a, an actual room. So I use it, I'm a teacher as well, so I use it to store a lot of my teaching things. Um, when we were homeschooling during lockdown, uh, COVID lockdown, um, we did a lot of it in there. So there's lots of children's bits and bobs in there too. Um, but it is a fun sanctuary to retreat to, especially in the summer. The trees outside and the birds. We had uh, pigeons nesting in our tree last year. I really hope they come back this year. The nest is still there. Amazingly, it didn't fall down um, in the wind over the winter, which is pretty good. Okay, more binders. Crafting. I would really love to make a giant wall hanging. I know exactly where I would put it in the house as well. We have a wall at the moment which has, um, looks like a like a dead Christmas tree on it. It's not a Christmas tree. I think, well, I made it one year for, um, what did I do? To put an ad, make as an advent calendar. Um, and it worked really well. I was very proud of it. 
but it has stayed up ever since. And in my mind, I think, oh, I'll decorate it with um, seasonal things. So sometimes it has bunnies on, Easter bunnies, and sometimes it has um, other bits and bobs on it, love hearts and things. Um, oh, but it's very bare at the moment. And we were away for Easter, so it um, doesn't have anything on it. Um, what I will do is I will link to the timings of all of this on the video. So if you don't want to watch all of this all the way through, um, you don't have to. This will be a long video, especially since I'm not making anything at the end of it. Um, we're just having a look to see what is included in these packs. So I must say, I've got into the habit at the moment when I go to the gym of watching crafty videos. Ooh, can't speak, watching crafty videos as I'm doing my warm up. Um, can you see those bits that I've got on the end? I might move them, let me have a look. Ooh, possibly not. Um, right, I'm going to change the camera angle swipe around this way. Oh, can you see all of those? Hopefully. Um, medley of different bits and bobs there. So this is from the Bits and Pieces. Simple story, Bits and Pieces, Let's Get Crafty line. And I'm gonna hold it up so you can see that. Cool. Um, and that's it for the Bits and Pieces. Uh, next up is the Let's get crafty sticker book from Simple Stories. Let me see if I can open this gently at the side. Can I do that without it breaking? I think I need to grab some scissors so I can cut that open. Okay guys, lastly, oh, there goes a cat. Uh, last thing to show you is the Simple Stories sticker book, Let's Get Crafty. Um, full of glorious things. I'm gonna start from the back of the book just because it's easier to flick that way. Um, so some flags. Oh my goodness, I've got both cats on the table. Uh, some quotes there. Oh, I love that. Oh my glueness. <laughs> Beautiful page. Flowers. <gasps> so pretty. Uh, more binders and tape dispensers. Alphabets. I wonder, is that a whole... How are they stuck? Are they individual letters or are they bricks? I know it looks like they're bricks rather than individual letters. Um, let's have a look. Bits and bobs, labels, more quotes, picture perfect, and embroidery bits, um, buttons. Um, more letters, these are individual letters this time. Um, and that is that. Right, I hope you really enjoyed uh, watching that. Well done if you got to the end, it's a long video. <laughs> um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and we'll see you next time. This is Katie signing off.